In this video, I want to talk about the Metabones Nikon to MFT adapter specifically designed for use with the pocket camera. Now, the Metabones Speed Booster does three things. Uh, obviously, it physically allows the Nikons to connect on the front and then connect onto the camera. But the other thing it has is some glass. And this glass does some very good things to the optics that you attach in front of it. Now, generally, we don't like adding glass into things unnecessarily, but this glass has been designed by uh, a company that involves Brian Cordwell, who's a champion optical designer, and it's a patented combination of lens elements. And it does three things. The first is that it concentrates the wider frame coverage we're getting from the Nikon full frame lenses and focuses them down particularly for the Super 16 image size of the pocket camera. In doing that, it increases our field of view. So we get our crop factor back. So instead of being this three times crop factor that we had on the Super 16 size image, it gets us back to a more 1.75 size uh, crop factor, which means it's effectively almost turning it back into a Super 35 Cine camera. So suddenly you don't need to worry about having a 9mm lens knocking around anymore. You could use something like the Nikon 15mm, the Nikon 20mm, and those are going to be your wide lenses. Now, the other thing it does is that by focusing the rays into the central point, it increases the amount of light that's being transmitted through the optic system, and in doing so, it gives you a speed boost. The maximum aperture then is f0.74, so we're getting into the sort of Stanley Kubrick, Barry Lyndon range of being able to shoot in candlelight if you're starting off with a fast lens in the first place. In the Nikon range, the 35, the 50 and the 85 are all f1.4 lenses to start with, so if you use those wide open, you will be looking at a below f1 stop, which is quite interesting. Um, the third thing it does, which is quite intri intriguing and counterintuitive, is that by concentrating those rays down again, it effectively increases the MTF, the sharpness rating of the lens on this camera. So uh, not actually getting in the way of things, it's actually improving things by using the best parts of the lens and all the MTF the lens has and bringing it into the full coverage of the sensor. One more thing this has physically, which is quite good, is that if you don't have the manual Nikon series lenses, which have their own aperture ring, uh, you have a Nikon G or F series lens, which does have physical control of the lens from inside from the camera, but it doesn't have it on the outside on a ring, uh, Metabones have added in this adjusting ring on the outside, which controls a little stick on the inside, which connects with the lens aperture guide and will open and close the lens aperture for you. You've got to be a little bit careful with this with an actual manual lens is that there's a bit of a push me pull you effect between this control and the actual aperture lens control which you'll you'll quite easily get used to once you start to use it but that is a very useful it widens the range of lenses you can use of Nikon lenses you can use with this to include a few very good zooms so let's actually put a lens on this and show you a sort of package we can put together now this is the uh, Nikon 35mm prime f1.4 lens uh, what we've done is we've put 80mm step-ups on the front, uh, we've put gear rings on to interface with any follow focus system you might be using. Slightly annoyingly, Nikon's focus the opposite way to almost every other lens in the world, which can be a little bit frustrating. Uh, but the useful thing about this, now that you've got all that extra speed coming at you from the speed booster, if you're going outdoors, you might want to put something like this little Arri uh, lightweight matte box on it, uh, combined with a little drop-in 3x3 ND filter, and suddenly we still got a lightweight shootable camera, but the useful thing with this is that we're going to be able to start shooting quite wide open. Let's not go all the way to f1.4, let's go to 2.8, and use our ND to stop down, and suddenly we can overcome the disadvantage of having that very small sensor and the deep depth of field we get as a result, and we can get back to that very shallow depth of field, which is so popular amongst the DSLR shooters. But altogether, we put this package together with these uh, full set of lovely Nikon Primes, the little lightweight uh, matte box with uh, a set of drop-in filters for that, and you can also include that with a, a cage, and suddenly you can get out there and you can start shooting with prime lenses with a super 35 millimeter equivalent depth of field uh, onto HD ProRes with a film log curve all for not a whole lot of money. So that's quite an exciting uh, development, having this speed booster to use with the pocket camera. 
And of course you can track down uh, this package on our website uh, gearfactory.co.uk and uh, we look forward to uh, helping you out using it to make your productions. Check out our other videos, tests and gear guides and subscribe if you want to get instantly notified about any future reviews and updates we have.